Hi, I'm Dr. Rolani. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the University of Alberta. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a physical examination of the hip. Hip problems are very common, and every doctor should be able to perform a basic examination of this important joint. Let's look at the various parts of the physical examination. So firstly, we're going to inspect the joint. Then we'll move on to palpation. Then we'll move on to range of motion and strength. And finally, uh, perform special tests. At the end of this video, you should be able to perform a physical examination of the hip. Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Lalani. Hi. Is it okay if we examine your hip joint today? Mm -hmm. Do you have any areas that are sore around the hip? No. Okay, great. So I'll just wash my hands and we'll get started. We're going to start with inspection. Okay, so now we're going to examine the hip. And the initial part of the examination involves inspection. And the initial part of inspection is going to be watching the patient walk so we can examine her gait. So we're just going to ask her to walk down the hall and back. So now that we've uh, checked out your gait, our next part of the hip exam is to inspect the lower limbs. So we want to just check for any areas of any atrophy, the alignment of the knees, and the alignment of the feet in terms of the arch. We also want to check for leg length discrepancy. And so one way to do that with the patient standing is to just put your hands right at the top of the IF crest and just see if they're both at the same height. And again, from the back, we want to check for any uh, deformity in the lower limbs, uh, the alignment of the knees, and the uh, alignment of the feet. So the next part of our hip examination is going to involve checking range of motion. So to start with, we're going to start with hip flexion. So an easy way to do that is to just ask the patient to bring the knee as close to the chest as they can. You can put your hands on the knee if you wish. And we're also watching the other leg when she's doing that to check if there's any uh, uh, if the leg gets lifted off the stretcher, and if that happens, that indicates that there may be a bit of a flexion contracture there. So that would be flexion. The next thing we're going to check is abduction. So we want to bring the leg out as far as we can go this way, and then adduction in this direction, and then finally rotation. So we bring the hip up to 90 degrees, and we want to internally rotate like this, and externally rotate like this. And we would do that on both sides. Now the next thing we want to do is check the strength of the hip abductors. And so the easiest way to do that is to have the patient lie on her sides. And if you want to raise this leg straight up. And so we want to do this in such a way that she's leaning forward a little bit. And we want to make sure that the foot is pointing down towards the stretcher and just have her hold the leg there against resistance. Excellent, good. And lastly, we want to check some special tests. So the first thing we need to do is measure leg length. And the way we do that is by finding the anterior superior iliac spine and identifying the medial malleolus and taking a measurement there. And then the same thing on the other side. Good. And lastly, we want to do the favor test or the flexion, abduction, external rotation test. And what we're looking for is pain in the SI joint on the same side. Finally, our last special test for the hip would be the Trendelenburg test. And so to do that, we stand behind the patient and we ask her to lift one leg up. And what we want to see is the pelvis remain stable. If the pelvis drops on one side, go ahead, just like that, that indicates to me that the hip abductor on the left side is weak. Thank you, your hip is fine. Thanks, Dr. Lamani. Okay, let's summarize. Physical examination of a joint requires you to look at the joint for any abnormalities, feel the joint for any particular areas of tenderness or pain, Move the joint to assess range of motion and strength. And finally, performance of special tests looking uh, for any trouble spots. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy practicing physical examination.